Welcome Hi. back, people. Yes, mm -hmm. um, now that you've got your fitness on, mm -hmm. let us intimate you on what's been making the rounds on social media. <laughs> As you know, we like a proko on this show. Uh, oh, 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 <laughs> speak for yourself. Sister. Just kidding, just kidding. Welcome, Apropos Queenie. Queenie. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, it's nice of you to finally join us. Everyone looking bright and beautiful this morning. Yeah. Especially with regards our hair. Titi, let the hair go. I love the... It, these are bangs. Yeah, right? the fringe, right? The fringe bangs. So cute. Lovely. Yeah. And yes, then your is. mommy water look is working too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Talking about hair, something interesting happened over... Oh, that's what you were saying. Yeah, exactly. Weekend, right? <laughs> and um, so there's this, there's this um, Nigerian hair vendor mm. who... Um, did a sales, like a sales fair. week sales, week fair in Ghana. And then um, next thing we found out that there were um, people who came in to interrupt the fair. And these people were Ghanaians, right? And um, this just sort of spooked our attention. Well, my attention, because I'm like, okay, what's the you know, situation here? And then it turned out they were actually upset because she was actually selling her wigs at ch a cheaper price. Hmm. Okay. And that was, you know, making, turning all the other customers who were patronizing the other hair vendors, yeah. oh. you know, yeah. yeah so they so were, <laughs> yeah. So it was, they were coming her way because, I mean, who doesn't want cheap hair? Yeah. Well, whether what? it is synthetic, so <laughs> synthetic hair really look good, that right? Very true. So whether it is synthetic, <laughs> whether it is human hair, whether it is human hair blend, yeah. we all want good hair yeah. at a very affordable price. <laughs> so if I see someone that's selling, I will run to her. Okay. Well, yeah. it, it, I think it's not even just about it being cheap hair. Mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, sometimes... There's something, there's some flair about Nigerians and how they do things. Mm -hmm. We have this major selling ability. Mm -hmm. We know how to sell market. Mm -hmm. Even if it's to dance and be shaking the mm -hmm. hair, like we know how to do. We, we really we know how to our market in our bright, we yeah. Know. Mm. But, first of all, I, I, mean, I like to respect myself when I'm in another man's land. Mm. She probably had to, you know, at least speak to some people or you know, rub some palms, mm. you know, settle things first. I feel like there were just some conversations she hadn't had mm. with the people in that industry, in that space. Invite some of them now, partner with them, bring Ghanaians on board the fair. Well, no, the so fair there were actually, hers. it wasn't just hers. There were I'm other, serious. no, it wasn't mm. just hers. Mm. There were other, other Ghanaians as well, okay. right? So they complained that they couldn't afford to sell at the same rates or the same price at which mm. she was selling hers because they have other, you know, taxes. Of course. Then, then also many of their hairs were imported. Mm. You know, many of the um, importations, duties, tax yeah. duties and all of that. Mm. It, of course, it would incur a lot of, you know, monies mm. that would be added to every single, single hair. hair that is being sold. So they couldn't afford to sell at the rate at which she was selling. But Baby Girl found a strategy mm. and decided, you know what, mm. <laughs> this fair, okay, I'm so, going to sell out. So I'm going to say this, right? This actually takes me back to your fair. Sorry, mm. the fair um, you were the internet, Yeah, the trade fair. Back, the trade fair. It had people from different countries, right? Mm -hmm. From Ghana, from anywhere. And the truth is, we also had um, Nigerians selling there as well. Mm. Selling similar products as you wear. What is the strategy for a fair? Mm -hmm. Go there and do the everything possible that you can do mm -hmm. to make the most out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think, to be very honest, that is what capitalism is all about, right? So you as a business owner, you have the, the leverage and the right to literally set your price at whatever. Ever. Do you understand? You never know. She, it might be cheap for her. Maybe she's even really trying, maybe she's even undergoing some losses just you to don't put her know brand that. out there. Exactly. I don't think it's enough. As much as this, I understand you when you're going to another man's fair yeah. and do the right things and all of that, but I don't think it's enough reason for the states for statements like, oh, go back to your country. country. To yeah. Oh, I think yeah. that's yeah. Because getting that's giving there. some xenophobia vibes. Yeah. I mean, that's what a few um, um, some Nigerians have you know experienced in the past especially in countries like in like South Africa, South Africa yeah. right yeah. so it's not fair okay now like you mentioned about the fair I remember that even at some point mm -hmm. I had to I did my own feasibility study mm -hmm. because exactly. I was um, the only Niger okay I wasn't the only Nigerian that was selling Ankara wares mm -hmm. but I had to find find a way to make my I had to compromise on my prizes exactly because mm -hmm. I needed to sell yes. and the other Ghanaians that they also needed to make their monies they were not I did after fifth visit, so they say, you know what, I'm so going to reduce my price so that I can make exactly. some so people come yeah. So you know what, it's not just uh, with trade fairs that this kind of thing happens. Even if you're going to go for like a beauty pageant or you want to do an awards show. Mm -hmm. uh, case in point, there was an awards that happened in Rwanda recently. My mm -hmm. husband was the MC, 
I know that the, the government there, they sent people to ask, ah, ah, which award are you people doing like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. in our country? Mm -hmm. They will ask questions. You need to, that study you talked about, mm. it involves knowing who exactly Disability is. Disability study. Yes. You need to actually connect with people because these guys really went far. I looked at pictures. Mm. They had placards. Placards, right. They went so, to so, print placards. So, they had money to print placards. That, that means it was... It was planned. Yes. Yeah, it looked it premeditated. Really so that's why I asked, was the fair her own? Was she the one that well, organized Well, from this? reports, mm -hmm. it said that she organized the fair, because I have a, okay. a report right in front of me yeah. here. Yeah. Um, let me just quickly open it up. And so, um, so it said uh, a, a Ghana, Ghana Week fair organized, organized by a Nigerian hair vendor wow. in Accra. Mm -hmm. So she organized the fair. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Well, first of all, go and pray. <laughs> That's one. Two, um, I, I think uh, there are some things we probably don't know. Mm -hmm. There was an allegation, well, I'm going to say the word allegation. Okay. Indication that mm -hmm. the hair she was selling wasn't as good quality. That was just for even one, one customer. For one customer. But one even, customer. But even if, if the price, I even thought it was the other way around when I heard no. the story initially. I thought it was cheap hair at expensive price. Uh -huh. So now they are saying cheap price, even if the hair is not low, it's cheap. Hey, are you uh, sure cheap. It's cheap? Well, you know. synthetic it's hair is quality. cheap, right? It's cheap. So it's it's only it's it's only a problem if those synthetic hairs were overpriced. Okay. Exactly. But in this That's situation, I, they were cheap. Meaning, so and then the other there's someone there's a TikToker who actually tweeted about this, and then she was making reference to the synthetic hair being expensive. Mm. And I'm like, um, <laughs> now let's look at expensive, affordable is relative. We understand that to yes. some people, these hairs might be very very expensive but to some people is could be very affordable so for even this protester protesters this mm -hmm. Ghanaian protesters who came forward to this lady and who tried to disrupt the whole whatever mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. for them to come to say oh okay this is cheap you're, you're selling your hair at a cheap price yeah, yeah. I, I need to also talk to show that why they might also be upset um, a lot of these vendors in Ghana import from Nigeria mm -hmm. and when they get to the border you know how things get when you get to the border. They probably had to also grease a lot of palms and pay a lot of excise duties. But that is that. not her problem. Thank you. Oh, honestly, people that actually sell, they travel to another Can country I help to you right sell. Now? No, seriously. It's not her problem. It's not her problem. No, it's the truth. It's as, not. As an entrepreneur, you have to think of the best possible way to make, make money. money. Out of the product the end goal so, here. So, to be honest, it, well. it's not an issue. And I'll go leave our country. That is a lot. I that mean, really let's hear, let's let's hear, hear what yeah, you actually. have to say. Please use and it can be hashtag so, yeah. wake up that year on TV. Take it to court. <laughs> take, take care <laughs> with your comments and uh, we'll see how we can respond to them later on. <laughs>